Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jane. My channel is about motherhood, treats and finds and beauty. Now, as a mom, I've realized that I really, really struggle to get great affordable toys in Nairobi and I still haven't figured out a place where you can actually do this. So please, if you're a mom and you have a place where you actually go and thrift toys at an affordable price, hook me up. I would really appreciate it. Other than that, I have been lucky enough to come across toys that I have thrifted for my son, which have been very helpful um, in his growth process. Others, he hasn't started using them yet. I just bought them because I thought they would be important at some point in his life, but not immediately. Um, and that's the beauty of thrifting. When you have money, you can actually buy something that you're not using immediately, but you would still end up using it. So I'll just go ahead and share with you guys the toys that I have thrifted for my son. And I hope you learn a thing or two about thrifting and also just, yeah, the toys you can look for when you're out there looking for toys or just thrifting. So the first thing I got, which I'm really lucky and I'm so happy to share with you guys today, is an abacus. I don't know how many of you guys know an abacus. And this thing is very expensive. If you check online, I'll just, I'm welcoming you to go check on Amazon or anywhere else where you can buy it online and see how much it costs. An abacus is a mathematical tool that is used to calculate. So normally for kids, they will just use... Um, use the beads to calculate numbers. It has really helped my son because right now he can count up to 50. Each of them has 10. So you can imagine we are at the number five and we are still going up. So this was a very nice toy to thrift. I thrifted this thing for a hundred shillings. I'm not even lying. I got it in Umoja. There's a lady who usually sells toys at the uh, Umoja one market uh, just next to the stage. I don't know if she's there every day, but that day when I was passing there, I came across her and I bought this from her for a hundred bob. I was so lucky to get this and I'm a hundred percent sure it was a good thrift. No doubt. I'm welcoming you guys to check. Uh, the other thing I got is this guitar. It's a really nice quality guitar. Um, I also got this from the same place. I got this for 30 shillings 30 shillings i'm not even kidding 30 bob and it's really good quality it's very heavy wood uh you can actually use this as a decor piece even if you don't have a child uh yeah because um of the colors and also the quality it would really look nice if you love music as well you can use it as a music piece so yeah that's why i got it uh, I'm not giving it to my son yet because he's just four and he does not know the value of getting such a thing So he's going to destroy it, but I'm going to keep it, to be keeping it for him I'm sure when he grows up a little bit then he can be able to use it Yeah, the other thing I got is uh, this amazing I think I'll just call them dolls <laughs> because I don't know But my intention for buying them there are actually several was to use them to decorate his room. So I have this moon that is uh, in a sunny color, in yellow. Then I have this other one that is in blue. They're actually really good quality and strong. And they come with hooks. So you can easily hang them, hang them in a room, uh, which is what I'm planning to do. I haven't started working on my son's room, but that's a project that is somewhere along the line. I also have this one that you can count fingers up to five. He really loves this one. So I'm glad I got it. Um, then there's this one that has like a sleepy zzz, that that one. Can be sleepy and it can also be a bee. <laughs> so I don't know, but yeah, this was also, it also comes with a hanging hook. I also have this other one that has like a smiley face and has this other side that's like um kind of face and it also has a whole hook for hanging so i'm planning to use these ones to decorate his room uh yeah i also have a green one which is like a doll i don't know a doll of sorts this one i'm actually i'm supposed to use it for myself <laughs> for pinning uh what are they called for pinning sindano Pin Sindano. Yes, that one. Then I got this nice goofy dog that I really love. Ah! 
So you can you can use this in two ways. You can use it, you can hang it. It also has a hook for hanging. You can hang it or you can also place it on your bed. After spreading the bed, you can place it on your baby's bed, like at the far end so that it's, it's like a cute little thing that's just showing there. Um, I haven't started using it because I still don't know. I'm not sure how I'm going to be using it, but we usually play with it with him so i just put it on and then i run around with him or he puts it on and the other way around so this was also a good find all these dolls i got them from think twice second hand clothes i got them for 50 shillings each which i think was a is a really good steal um considering the quality and also how you can use them in your space uh yeah i'm glad i got them they are of good value uh, and no, when I come, when it comes to decorating my son's room, I will not struggle because I already have things that will actually work and that he loves um, in the space. Uh, yes, then I also got this like a Momo book. <laughs> so it has like different sounds like uh, for a pig, for a duck, for a cow, for a bee for a horsey and for a sheep it's a book it's a book that is also like a toy i don't know like a doll i don't know how to describe it but it's really good quality i think he's had this for the longest time i also got it for 30 bob from that lady um in umoja and it's a good quality like he, he can't tear it you know even when he's playing and uh yeah it also helps learn uh, helps him to learn even if not what is in the drawing the colors he loves measuring the colors he'll just open and be like mom this is yellow this is blue this is this is a sheep you know so i'm glad i got it because it has also helped his in developing his skills colorful skills <laughs> then i got this amazing t-shirt that i really really love it's just a plain t-shirt at the front and then at the back area it's written prince number one how cool is that how cool how cool and guys i got this from think twice as well i got it for 50 shillings now he has outgrown it so how i'm planning to use it is to put it inside um i'll buy a frame and then i'll have it um i'll frame it inside the frame and then cover it and then i'll just use it in his room to represent that he is my number one prince and will always be so this was a good find as well yeah uh, the other thing is uh this one which i have showed you guys in another video of mine where i thrifted it i actually thrifted it in a home decor like a place where you would mostly thrift home decor items but i was able to get this little book little prayers for little boys it has different cards as i showed you on that video that have different prayers um, that will just help my son uh, know how to pray as he continues to grow. So once he's able to read and he understands what, um, like how to take care of things, then I will be able to give him this so that they can teach him how to pray. This was also a good, a very good find. I also got uh, preschool um, family cards. It's actually written summer 2018 but when i opened it i found that it's actually stories of the bible paul talked to lydia um talk paul talked about jesus so it's actually um stories of paul and how he helped in the bible and it's different sessions which i think during the holiday i can be able to just go through with my son the session 10 so the session one up to session 10 and then they have different verses in the bible and then at the back, they actually show like you can build a skill and you can learn a verse. So I actually say that with toys, you don't really necessarily have to just thrift like buy like um, cars and uh, building blocks. You can get amazing things that are also helpful in, t in helping you like learn or study with your son or with your daughter. So, yeah, that's how I usually thrift. I think ahead because I know at some point we will be able to go through these courses with my son. And I have no doubt that this will come in handy. Uh, 
then this one is just a spelling book spelling and counting book uh, it has like different letters fine whatever and and then at the back it has like some of them have like paintings drawings uh let me see if i can open a page like this one has a sun yeah so this one just has it's a spelling and counting book flip book i got this one from house of leather i can't remember the price but you can actually get also nice books from house of leather for kids they usually have amazing ones uh, for studying they have colors they have numbers so this one we have started using but under supervision because i know if i leave him with it alone he's going to tear it so i usually just take the time to study with him and then i take it and keep it because i know at some point he's going to need it to learn then <laughs> i also got so this is a pack of pencils so all these are pencils, it's a pack of pencils and markers, which I also thrifted from my home decor, home decor area, like home decor. And these are fabric markers. So when I'm, when we are doing arts and crafts with my son, <laughs> I'm trying to implement uh, some lessons which we can be learning together that are fun. We can actually use these fabric markers on fabric materials. So I also just buy like white t-shirts which will not necessarily be worn. But we just use them to like write on and play around with numbers and letters. So that I also make learning fun for him. So these ones I also thrifted. They came as a pack. This is how the pack looks. I am sure I will not be buying pencils for <laughs> at least the next term. Hopefully. And I also thrifted this from a from the from a from a decor a decor place like the same place I got these prayer book things. I also got this set. Then I got this floater. Floater, floater. <laughs> I got this floater from I think twice as well. I got it for fifty shillings. I confirmed it's working, so it has this area where you can use the poof. So when we go for swimming. I just pump it up and we are good to go. I also got this for 50 shillings and it was a good steal um, because I'm in supermarkets I think you can get for like 350 or 400 I'm not sure but yeah this was also a good steal and he loves the color. I mean green is not his favorite color but he loves it so this was also a good steal. Last but not least <laughs> is I got this uh, it's a puzzle piece it's a puzzle piece so yeah you guys can't see what it's about but it's a puzzle piece for like a fish I also got this for 30 shillings I got this for 30 bob uh, it comes with this bag and uh, yeah I got this for 30 bob which we usually just use to play around the house it's not a complete puzzle by the way that's also another downside with thrifting you don't really get 100 percent sometimes but i still bought it um because it's easy for me to just train my son to like do puzzle pieces or have fun putting something together with him so i've really enjoyed i'm going to try and insert a picture and show you guys how it looks when it's almost completely done um but yeah so this was a good steal i also got this for 30 shillings i got it in the same place um from that mama in, in umoja market so yeah this was also a good find then this chart it's an animal chart that one it's inside i'm actually shooting inside liam's room <laughs> so that animal chart i got it for a hundred bob along before you reach Muthaiga Square, uh, there's a guy who usually hangs them on the wall. So you can see them. I got it for 100 bob there. But I know you can get it at a cheaper price. I think it's even 50 bob like um, in Gikomba or even cheaper. I don't know. 
but yeah i got it for 100 bob it's also been helpful in just teaching my son um the difference between birds and wild animals and animals and he enjoys it so we usually just play a song as we read and i have found it really helpful because right now he knows a lot of animals which is really good yes so guys i think that's it for today's video <laughs> i hope it hasn't been so long thank you so much for watching uh, the point was just to let you guys know that you can actually get amazing toy pieces at good prices which you just come along i don't know for me it's i would say it's just luck like when i'm going around and shopping i come across these things i don't know a place where you can get quality affordable toys but my nearest would be um along river road in town there's usually those guys who just put toys like throw toys and and call out for guys to buy that is the area where you, you i think you would get the cheapest toys uh, you can also get good nice toys at house of leather uh yeah and all these areas so <laughs> liam is calling me okay i need to go guys thank you so much for watching have a good day and see you next time bye uh, and also please subscribe hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video i would really appreciate it if you became part of my family Okay.